We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The New York Threats take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down Greek street poles and eating all you can eat horse soup buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense results in an interception. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. First down in inches. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. First and four. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. He refuses to go down. <laughs> 
And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Second down and more than the QB would like. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and two. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close though. Yep. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. It's first and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. catch. Now he put the team in a hole. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he just lets that one go. He says, no thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Excuses for this QB. He could go all the way. The 20. The 10. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and 10. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. 
Second down and 10. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like you every day. First down! With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Ah, the refs certainly take a lot of abuse in this league, Grim. And the fans sure love it. Game for like a pinata at a Mexican birthday party. <laughs> First down and forever. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure battle. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Six. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Whoa, and he landed. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. I'm a I'm a Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it.
straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. First and ten. And he's running like a moose. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckle. Of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. I had money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense has no running back left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Second down and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had sewn on today. Looks like it's a good fit.
They stunt the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah! They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. First down and five. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time! It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. but not quite good enough at nine yards. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Third down and three. First down! He hit that ball. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, Probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and seven. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? For 
third quarter. We are all tied up and set to kick off the second half. Uh, speaking of all tied up, Grim, how many of them elephant lags in a pill did I take? Uh, I feel like I'm sitting on Mount Vesuvio right now. Oh, one false move, and I'm gonna blow! Touch one eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy to... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Oh, big catch! Run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. So much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and ten. 
That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. First and two. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback, and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. morning. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, and they got him. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Yeah. <laughs> 
And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. The defender says, I don't think so. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get him. He's got the ball now and he's going to. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. They might catch him. Move your fat little mutant. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. Um, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked down? Run. That, my 
friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, probably. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawning. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. And that's another... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Reception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three win, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. The oh, welcome to Bubbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And 
he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, Graham. <laughs> yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without heads, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> he's aged better than Keith Richards. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Great shoestring tackle. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. And the bat gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And that'll bring up third and one. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. First down and seven. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, He's at the 20, the 10, and the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Second down and ten. First down. Get this guy. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. Yeah, I've had it. 
I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. The 20. He's at the 10. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See, and the ref just called a bullshit penalty. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down in a mile. The defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second down in a very lot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And that'll bring up third and one. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, what the brutal hit! was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He's not going That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean that these they call the war speed dirty brick? He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Second. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And he, and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, man, he really wants it.
And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to time. And he reels. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> the Hellboys come away with a big win today. And a big slab of barbecue, Grim. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -hmm. Good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other.